The Air Force Falcons returned five starters from a team that went 14 and 18 last season and 5 and 13 in conference play, good enough for 10th place in the league. Dave Pilipovich returns for his sixth season at the academy as the head coach. His Falcons picked ninth in the preseason poll released this morning here in Las Vegas. It'll be a veteran team, though, that's on the hill this winter with 15 letter winners back. And, and coach, as the, the ebbs and flows of being the head coach of the uh, Air Force Academy go, sometimes you have teams that are very experienced, sometimes you have to deal with them, some inexperience, and you continue to build. This is one of your more experienced teams. How have you seen that translate on the practice floor into something that gives you uh, positive feelings and think that this team really could be a player in the Mountain West? You know, you're exactly right. And it's these two young men we have right here, our senior captains. They've done an unbelievable job of leading our program through the spring, the summer, and now the early fall in our practices. The energy, the effort, the competitiveness has been set by these two and it's followed through with all of our team. We're excited about where we're at right now. With 10 returners who average in double figures in minutes played. That's just not something that, that you can coach. Either you have the right. experience or you don't. Has that allowed practice to pick up a little bit? The intensity that they, they already know what needs to get done at practice and it's just a matter of going out and getting it done. It, you could have said it better. We can say a drill or ask what we want as far as a, an option in our offense or something defensively and they execute it. Mm. So there is some teaching with the younger players but these older players have been through the program, know what we want, and they've been able to coach practice and carry on. Zach, you're the Iron Man of this team. 32 starts in your, your career, nine points a game, five rebounds a game from last year. You know, entering what is now kind of your leadership season, how has your role changed? Because last year you were a leader too. Is it different though from last year to now in your role on the team? I would say it's different in the fact that I have one more year of experience under my belt, mm -hmm. and um, I think you know my my role to lead lead the other guys and um, lead by example is still the same. Uh, my job is to you know, as coach was saying, try to be a leader out on the floor, be a coach in a sense, you know, to um, correct the other guys and encourage them when I can. So I think in that sense it's the same, but I have that one more year of experience under my belt, which will help me grow in that facet. And you've kind of grown up with these same guys at the academy, with the same things off of the court, up on the hill. Uh, has it been a lot of fun where, you know, in some programs you got two seniors, five juniors, a couple of sophomores. You, these are your guys that you've gone through the academy for four years. Has that been fun for you to grow with these guys, not only on the basketball, basketball floor, but at the academy as a whole? Yeah, it's been extremely fun. I've been fortunate, you know, to have great guys to do it, do it with. And since the prep school, you know, this is going on our fifth year. So I've been, been with these guys for a while now, and um, I wouldn't want to do it with any other guys. So it's definitely made my experience a whole lot better, and I'm looking forward to what this year holds. Hayden, you come into this this season the leading scorer and the leading rebounder, um, returning on the team, 13 points a game, six rebounds a game because of the amount of experience that you have around you, are you going to be looked at to be the, the guy that leads this team in scoring and in rebounding? Or can you kind of settle into a role and really what happens on the court ends up happening and that's okay because you've got a lot of other contributors that can help you? I think it's more of like the second way you took it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like we have so many guys that can contribute in so many ways. Um, we have scorers, we have defenders, we have rebounders. And I think just like with getting everybody so much experience last year, guys are going to fill into their roles and like understand that like, you know, I'm here, I can play at this level, I can do these things, and there won't be so much of a burden to do everything and everybody's going to be able to contribute and it'll be like a very even. There's such a tight bond among athletes at the Air Force Academy across all the sports. How special is it for you to play in front of a, a smaller student body, everyone knows everyone, right, so to right. speak, and a lot of the people are athletes at the academy, and you share that, that commonality, that bond. How much fun is it to be an athlete at the academy from that standpoint? No, it's really cool. It's a great experience because, you know, dating back to right when you arrive at the school, you go through all these struggles together, and you go through all this, these adversities, and, like, you know, you, you see the success, and you're so close with everybody. You see everybody else succeeding and doing things, you know, football players, hockey players, soccer players, all these guys, and you all support each other. You know, it's just a really special experience getting to perform in front of the guys you care about and like friends for life and all these like this tight community. There are so many things that you guys, you know, have on your plate at school, Zach. 
and one of those things, if you're lucky enough, you get to go up in a plane and you get to learn how to fly. And this summer, you had a solo flight. Walk me through the nerves that, that you had that day, the excitement you had that day, and the feeling of accomplishment. Yeah, well, I'm still to this day unsure why they trusted me up in a plane by myself. <laughs> but, uh, That's reassuring. You know, <laughs> no, you know, I felt completely confident. Yeah. Um, we had, I think, eight flights that I did with another instructor pilot before that. So I felt definitely um, prepared prepared to go up there by myself and um, I felt like the training leading up to it was um, gave me that confidence that I had to you know not be nervous and just do it just like basketball you know do what you practice so when you're up in the air and I would is this something first of all is this something you always wanted to do be a pilot I've had the desire um, since I was younger it hasn't been you know an extreme passion of mine, but this kind of put me over getting to experience this, sure. definitely. So when you are up there, did it live up to the expectations that you had when you were a kid saying, that's something that I might want to do? Yeah, it exceeded the expectations actually, you know, it was awesome just being up there by yourself. You're in control of the plane, you know, whatever you're doing, you, you can kind of have a little bit of free reign to do what you want as long as you're, you know, being safe with it. So. Um, yeah, definitely, I'd say it exceeded my expectations. Coach, when you, you have guys that, that engage in activities that maybe uh, put them at, at risk, I mean, a lot, of, a lot of coaches don't like their kids skiing, right. don't like their kids, you know, skateboarding or things right. like that. My man just went up in a plane by himself. <laughs> now, he also jumped out of a plane between his freshman and sophomore, or sophomore and junior year was. Freshman, freshman and sophomore. Yeah. So he also jumped out of a plane as well. <laughs> but that's what makes us unique. That's what makes us special. The Air Force Academy is an unbelievable institution and when you have young men who want to do things like this how can you say no I mean it's special and they're going to do some things way beyond graduation that you're proud of and when they have an opportunity to do those things I think it's pretty neat I get excited about it. it has been one of those moments for you at, at the Academy where you finish whatever the task may be and you sit back and say that really just happened I mean, I'm sure it happens every other day there you guys get right. to taste new experiences and challenging and challenges. What are, what's been some of those moments for you two? Um, I'd say one of them would probably be like the whole survival training thing that we do um, over the summer after our freshman year. You know, you go out and they have you do certain things like um, I don't know, just just operate. You know, they recovery and um, different facets of that. And you just like you're just in a like uncomfortable position. You know, you're living outside in the woods and you're having having a provide for yourself and like work as a unit to get to a certain location and all that stuff and it's just it's just something that you know five years ago I'd be like could never see myself doing and so like once upon completing it you know you don't eat as much and you have to like wait and you want to get to that next meal like when you're released and you graduate from the program it's just like you look back and you're like wow I just did that those exercises so. those team building exercises the putting yourself in adverse situations have to help you when you get into practice and in game times where things are getting tight, things are getting tough, and some, somehow, some way, you got to find a way. That's got to help you, right? Absolutely. I mean, I think the academy as a whole helps in that aspect of it because it's like, you know, you've gone through so many stressful situations. You've seen, like, you've been in positions you don't necessarily want to be in. You've been tired. You know, you've just, you've been stressed, and you just, you, you think, like, you know, I've been here before. I've felt this this I, I've had this feeling before and I, I can get through it like you know that's what the Academy really provides cool. let's, let's talk about some of your depth on this team and I look at a guy like Jacob Van 55 points in his last couple of games a guy that will be looked at to be a, a score CJ Siples Trevor Lyons gonna be back after he yeah. was a little bit nicked up last year um, Trevor I believe broke his hand in a boxing class another thing that, that goes on at the Academy to have that amount of depth behind your two leaders, that's a tremendous place to start. No, it is. You know, those uh, young men you just talked about all at one point or another last season were very, very good for us and added with these two here. And then you throw in a Frank Tui and even a Ryan Manning who's coming back from an ACL, who I think we have maybe eight players on our roster who've started a game or so for us over the last couple of years. So it'll be exciting. I don't know if we'll have a starting lineup this year per se, Maybe we'll have a starting nine, mm -hmm. and we'll be able to play with so much depth more. Than, and that's, again, if we knock on wood, if we stay healthy yeah. again. But we're excited about that, and they, they all care about each other. And there's not a greed there that I've got to play more, score more. We're all thinking about the one common goal, and that's just to get better each and every day. Coach, 
Guys, I appreciate your time here on the Mountain West Network. You can watch the Air Force starting nine against McPherson College open up on November 11th. That's Hayden Graham, Zach Oker, and Coach Dave Pilipovich of the Air Force Academy.